Good morning, you guys. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you aren't new, my name is Bree, and I've been getting so many requests on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll pop it up here. But I've been getting so many requests to do a what I eat in a day. Um, so if you didn't know, I've been doing keto, the keto diet since June of 2018. Um, so I've been consistently doing it up until now. So I thought I would take you through my day, kind of show you what I eat, um, and just kind of let you guys get an idea. Okay, so if you didn't know, I do intermittent fasting. So I fast for about 18 hours, and then I eat for six. So I normally just eat two meals a day. So I eat lunch and then dinner, and then I normally have like a snack in between if I'm super hungry. So yeah, I won't have my first meal until one, but I start every morning off with apple cider vinegar mixed with water and then half a lemon as well um i'm not completely sure if you're allowed to have this when you're fasting but i've been doing it for like two months straight and haven't really noticed that it affected anything that much so i drink it anyway so this is what i'm having um and then normally after i have this i will have a cup of black coffee as well but yeah i found that drinking coffee in the morning helps me get through the day so i'm not starving up until my first meal um, I do get a little hungry. It's usually like right when I wake up, but as soon as I have my apple cider vinegar and then my two cups of coffee, I'm totally fine. So I also like to address something <laughs> before we continue with this vlog. Um, as you may notice, it's, yep, a little weird where I live. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know, I live in my mom's unfinished basement. Yes, I know, living the dream. Um, no, it's honestly not that bad. It's just not the most appealing to look at. So when I post selfies, I'll show you. Excuse me, I'm in my slippers. But when I post selfies, you can always see like the washer and dryer behind me. Um, and the gross ceiling. <laughs> It honestly isn't that bad, but it's just not cute to look at. So that's why you see the washer and dryer, the cement floors, all of that in all of my pictures on Instagram. So if you guys were ever wondering why, that is why. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have first thing when I wake up. So I'm going to go grocery shopping today. I'll show you guys everything I get from there. Just kind of like my grocery, my like keto grocery list. Um, and then I will see you at one to make our first meal. Okay, so I went grocery shopping, so I want to show you guys what I got from the store. So I just got a few things. I already had some things here, so I just had to grab a couple of things. But I got some lemons. I have lemons with my apple cider vinegar and water every day. I just got some eggs. I got some more apple cider vinegar because I was out. Um, I got a couple avocados. I got some broccoli some cream cheese for my pancakes that I make and then I just got some stevia pepperoni because that's what I like to snack on um, I just got some raspberries for my pancakes some cheese and then this is the coffee that I drink um, it's just a cold brew it's black it has two grams of carbs in it I don't know what from but I just kind of ignore that because it's just coffee um, so I just add the stevia to this when I drink it in the morning and I just drink this iced um, I got some sliced almonds because I'm gonna try a new recipe today and then I got some of these almond butter packets. And I just got some zucchini spirals because I'm going to use those for a new recipe. Um, and then I also add these Mio Sport electrolyte drops into my water. That helps me get my water intake for the day. And then I just got some sausages. And then I got just some bacon. So that's what I got from the grocery store. Okay guys, so it is now a little after one, so I can have my first meal. Um, so for my first meal, I'm just gonna make keto pancakes, and I get so many questions on how to make these, and they're super easy. Um, so all you need is three eggs. I add a spoonful of the MCT oil powder from Perfect Keto, just to add, or to get my fat intake up. Um, two ounces of cream cheese, I just use this kind. And then I do a tablespoon of the Kerrygold butter. And then today I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of this creamy almond butter. And then I also add, I add ground cinnamon in it. And then I'm also gonna do pumpkin spice. 
Thai spice because that sounds good. So I'm just going to put that all in here and then we're going to blend it up. blended it up I just use my magic bullet to literally blend everything but I just have everything blended um, and then I'm gonna use avocado oil on the pan just so it doesn't stick to it and then you basically just let it cook like a normal pancake okay so first pancake is done it looks a little burnt it's not it's okay Um, and this, I'd say, probably makes like five or six pancakes, so it makes a decent amount, and they're super filling, so. Okay, guys, so pancakes are done. Um, I just went ahead and melted about a tablespoon of the butter and I'm just gonna pour that on top then I'm going to add a couple of raspberries um, you could do like blueberries or anything just kind of your preference you don't want to add too many just a few and then I get a lot of questions about what syrup I use um, honestly, I don't think it's the best for you, but I just use this one. Yeah, so this is what I put on it. I, ju I just find it at Walmart. So, pour some of that on top. Okay, and this is my first meal of the day. I will make sure to leave all the macros and everything down in the description box for you guys and all the ingredients I used as well. Okay, guys, so... It's not time for me to eat dinner yet, but I'm going to make my meal now. Um, I'm making something new. I follow a girl named Jazz Goes Fitspo on Instagram, and she's doing the keto meal plan by Joseph Rakic. I don't know how to say his name, um, <clears throat> but she made these last night, and they're just these, so you probably can't see that. They're just called zucchini fritters. Um, they looked really good. And they have 24 grams of protein, 43 grams of fat, and then 6 grams of net carbs, I'm guessing. So 510 calories. Okay, so for ingredients, you need broccoli, zucchini, onion, ground almonds, two whole eggs, and then two tablespoons of coconut oil. So... I went grocery shopping today, so I just kind of bought everything. Um, let me show you. So I just bought these zucchini spirals, and then I just kind of diced those up, and then I have this bag of broccoli. Same thing. And I'm using this coconut oil. I bought some sliced almonds to put in as well, and then I just have an onion right here. And then I'm also going to add just some parmesan. I saw a recipe on Pinterest that used parmesan. That sounded good. Um, some minced garlic. And then pink Himalayan salt. And then eggs, obviously. So, I've already pre-cut the zucchini and broccoli up. So, I'm just going to add everything else. I also don't have a cutting board. So, don't mind me just cutting this on my counter. It's clean, I promise. coconut oil I'm just gonna microwave this really fast just to melt it down this is how it's looking so far I don't really know if that's how it's supposed to be it looks like this in the picture so we're gonna try it I'm not really too sure but it's fine Moving on over. All right. 
there, you can't see me. We're gonna have to move it down here. Okay, so I'm guessing they use their hands when making this. I don't really know. Um, I'm just gonna pour, I'm gonna pour avocado oil in to the pan so it doesn't stick. <laughs> this is so gross. I don't think I did this right, guys. I'm just gonna put that on the pan. This is the first time I'm making it, so it honestly might be so gross, but on her post, she added a keto-friendly ketchup on it, which I don't have, so this is what it currently looks like right now in the pan. That's what we started with. The only thing is she like didn't have directions on her post, so I just kind of had to wing it, and I kind of added just some random things to it, so hopefully this tastes good. If not, oh well. Okay, so I just flipped it, and it actually doesn't look too bad. So I'm crossing my little fingers that this is gonna turn out good. Okay, so update on the zucchini fritters. I was gonna call them critters. This is my little sister. Um, they're actually not looking too bad. So these are the ones I've made. This one I did a little too big, so I just split it in half, but they actually smell super good. They look like the picture. I'm a little nervous that I might need like some sauce on them, and I don't know what to put on them because I don't have a keto-friendly ketchup, but it's fine. Oh, okay guys, so my fritters are done cooking. Um, This is what they look like. They actually turned out so good. They look just like the picture, minus the ketchup, which I don't have, but it's fine. So, I'm gonna try it with you guys on camera really fast. I'm making about like four which was more than what she had so it might have just been because i added a little more vegetables than i was supposed to but so here we go those are actually so good they like i added some garlic salt along with like the pink himalayan salt but they taste like a breakfast like sort of like hash browns with eggs like with the zucchini but those are actually so good i will leave the recipe and everything i used in mine down below but those are so good um i'll also put all like the macros and everything too but that is what i'm going to have for dinner what so, okay you guys that was kind of what i eat in a day um nothing too exciting however making a new recipe and actually ended up liking it so that was good um because that doesn't happen very often i'm glad that turned out good um but i will make sure to pop all the macros and everything down in the description bar so you guys know and then the recipes for everything just in case you guys want to try it as far as like what i snack on throughout the day let me show you normally we'll have one of these justin's almond butter packets these are super good um there's 18 grams of fat so that's great and then only three net carbs per each one little packet like these um and i just find those at target and then i'll usually have like a couple slices of pepperoni throughout the day too so just kind of depending on the day and how i'm feeling but yeah and then as far as calories go i try and eat between 1200 to 1500 a day um I always make sure to stay under 1500 but yeah so if you aren't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button um i'm super active on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram i will pop it up here and then i'll leave it in the down bar as well but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the future and i will talk to you guys soon bye